Yo, what's good, beautiful people? Today we got an important video, so make sure you do drop a like, sub, turn on post notifications. It's very much appreciated. Now let's just jump straight into it. Now last year, I used to always post these videos giving y'all breakdowns on badges, telling you what badges are worthless, what badges are good, what badges you're wasting attributes on, just everything in general. And it's sad to say, this year we have to have this conversation with Limitless Range. Now Limitless Range, does work i will start the video off by saying that but how well does it work is the real question now a 2k community has really been they've been tweaking out on twitter they've been complaining and complaining and complaining saying that gold limitless silver limitless hall of fame limitless is absolutely worthless and to me i'm gonna go ahead and have to agree because in this game that you guys are gonna watch right here I don't know if I hit any too crazy deep shots. I I'm honestly don't know, but I will show you guys something in a minute. But what I can say from my personal experience, I could shoot from almost anywhere on the court. Anywhere from half court and up, and I've shot from beyond half court too, and green from beyond half court. And I only have bronze limitless. I think that that definitely should change. Now, I'm not saying they should nerf Limitless to where I can't shoot from half court. But I think it definitely should be something only with TakeOver. Because I only have Bronze Limitless. It makes sense to make, you know, a couple deep shots. But when it comes to hitting beyond half court shots and stuff like that, that should definitely be something left for the people with, you know, high Limitless range. And the thing I think is the problem with Limitless range is not the fact that it doesn't work but more so the fact that there's no difference between having it bronze or hall of fame which is something that i feel like we should we always have a huge difference like if you take on speed booster for example if you put that on bronze your player is moving completely different bronze and hall of fame are two completely different games when it comes to speed booster on this game and I feel like Limitless Range should be the same exact way. Now I'm going to show you guys some clips that I saved here so we could talk about these clips. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy when you see these clips, bro. You're going to honestly think I'm crazy, alright? So, 78. these are all clips between 76 and 78 three-point rating. And this is just to prove my point that there's no difference between even having no Limitless Range and having Limitless Range on Hall of Fame. Now, I understand Hall of Fame Limitless Range being able to make some of these shots you guys are about to see, but I don't understand it with anything under Gold Limitless, honestly. So let's take a look, right? First clip, shout out to Grindin. This is the first one, 78 three ball. He does have takeover, but I want you to mind the shots he is hitting with a 78 three ball, right? Now, 78 three ball, if you think about it last year, in, in, the, in the 2Ks previously, besides like 2K20 and stuff, because 2K20, you could have a 55 three ball center build and you could green with that. Same thing with 2K19. I had a post scoring shot creator with like a 65 three ball, and I used to be able to green from extra deep. So it kind of does bring back them old 2K feelings. But... I just don't think that's something that, you know, should be happening. People in the community are complaining that shooting is too hard, yet there's 78 three balls hitting half court shots. So let's take a look at some of these other shots, because these other shots are even crazier than the ones you just seen grind and take. 78 three ball, no limitless range. Green bean, no limitless range, okay? Now I want you guys to see the rest of these clips, right? So look at this one. Yes, these dudes have takeover, but at the end of the day, I don't think, you know, takeover does boost your stats by plus 10. So these dudes, if they have a 76 three ball, they would have an 86 with takeover. And an 86 is what I have. So that's like saying my build with an 86 three point should be able to shoot from half court and beyond half court with no takeover. Look at that deep shot he just took. So limitless range, definitely has made the cut this year for one of the useless badges now i'm not saying it's completely useless all i'm saying is that you guys should you guys would probably benefit from making a build with a lower three ball 
and getting all the other stats you can get. Because I'm going to be honest, a 91 steal on this game is a lot more valuable than a 91 three ball. And that's just facts. So I'm going to tell you guys today, let's get straight back into the gameplay that I was showing you guys. Limitless range. Definitely, hopefully soon we'll be getting fixed. A lot of people have been complaining and you guys already know. When people complain, Mike Wang usually folds after a little while, especially when it's big name people complaining. Now, I'm not complaining. All I'm saying is that there needs to be a visual difference between bronze and Hall of Fame. Look at the shots I'm hitting. There's no reason stuff like that should be happening. Now, I get once in a blue moon hitting shots like that, but people being able to green consistently from deep with bronze to no limitless range shouldn't be a thing. And this is coming from someone who does it on a daily. So I'm not trying to cater to locks. I'm not trying to cater to nobody. All I'm saying is that they should buff the higher badges. Leave bronze and stuff the way it is. I mean, you can nerf it a tiny bit if you want. You should definitely nerf the people who do not have it. If you don't have limitless range, there's no reason you should hit half court or beyond half court shots. That's just my opinion. But limitless range definitely needs a tune up, some sort of switch or change. But as of right now, limitless range is not the badge that you guys are going to be wanting to have. Hall of Fame or making 99 three balls just so you could shoot or just so you could get Hall of Fame limitless range. I'm telling you guys now, it's pretty much useless. So that's it when it comes to limitless range. I just wanted to have a quick talk with you guys because I know a lot of people are making these PG builds and they're making booty builds. They're making builds with 96 three ball, 95 ball handle, no defense and no finishing. Just a little bit of layup. And those builds, in my opinion, are horrible. Like, yeah, they're cool. Like, if you're just going to sit there and sit behind screens and stuff like that, you might as well. If you're just going to sit behind a screen and have a lock play defense for you, there's no reason to have dunking. There's no reason to have defense. But just in my personal opinion, you know, that is not the type of build you guys are going to want to make. Save your attributes. Don't waste them on Hall of Fame Limitless Range or going with a 95 three ball or anything like that. I'm going to show you guys my jump shot and we'll pretty much wrap this video up because I know you guys are probably going to ask for the jumper after seeing me shoot like that. So here's a jump shot I'm using. In my honest opinion, Limitless Range does need to be touched, whether it's nerfing having no Limitless Range or buffing having gold or Hall of Fame. Right now in the game, there is no difference between having bronze or Hall of Fame limitless range. So do not make builds, you know, specifically for having deep shots or Hall of Fame limitless range. Wait until they touch stuff. Wait a little while till you see what the final product is going to look like. And then you can spend your money on whatever builds you guys want to make. But as of right now, it's pretty much useless.